Today we are going to show you the best SSD for gaming you can buy right now. We have analyzed the market and listed these 5 best SSDs for gaming for you. For more amazing tech product reviews and suggestions please subscribe to our channel. We will try our best to present you with the best tech products that you can buy now. Products links in the description box. In this video, we'll be covering SSDs for gaming, including what they are, why you may want to choose them, and some of the best options out there. Number 5 The Samsung's 870 EVO offering up high-ranking performance and efficiency, spacious capacities, and well regarded by many for high reliability, Samsung's 870 EVO is the most refined version yet, courtesy of its latest 6th Gen 128-layer VNAN TLC flash and an updated MKX Matisse SATA 6 gigabits per second controller. Still bottlenecked by the SATA interface, the new SSD doesn't stand a chance against the latest NVMe SSDs. Still, Samsung says the 870 EVO offers up to 38% higher performance for everyday computing tasks than its predecessor and the 250GB model sees an up to 30% improvement in sustained write performance. Samsung's 870 EVO is available in almost every capacity you could need, ranging from sizes as small as 250GB up to 4TB for the data hoarders who need the extra space. Each capacity comes at premium MSRPs, with prices ranging from 12 to 16 cents per gigabyte. Samsung rates the 870 EVO to deliver sequential speeds of up to 560-530 Mbps and sustain up to 98000-88000 random read-write IOPS across the board. Regarding the intelligent TurboWrite algorithm, Samsung did not disclose any changes. The 870 EVO is overprovisioned by 9%, with most of that space set aside for controller use and background block management. Samsung backs the 870 EVO with a 5-year warranty, and the drives can absorb up to 150 terabytes of write data per 250 gigabytes of capacity, meaning the 4 terabytes model is rated to handle 2,400 terabytes of writes within its warranty period. Number 4 The MX500 does go down as low as 250GB if you just need a little extra storage, with 500GB and 1TB versions available in between. The 4TB version we have here is the highest capacity and most expensive of the MX500 range. For performance, you're limited by the SATA 3.0 specification. The absolute maximum is around 600MB per second, so ideally, you want to be as close as possible to that. It scores 852 in the 3 DMARC storage benchmark, which tests a variety of gaming-oriented scenarios. In reality, the MX500 4TB was a fantastic mass storage drive for games, loading them quickly and providing a huge locker to store a large Steam library. Temperature-wise it usually runs at 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, performance will vary between the different capacities and even between different units. The bottom line is that the MX500 is good, but it's not the best in class. The crucial MX500 is a perfectly good SATA SSD. The 4TB is tempting, but it's also around $350, so you'll need to have a fairly big budget. The 2TB is an easier recommendation with a more attractive price. Number 3 The Seagate Firecuda 530 The Seagate Firecuda 530 is widely available in the US, the UK, and Australia in all capacities with a heatsink.is an incredibly fast and now thankfully more affordable SSD, Seagate Firecuda 530 review unit is the 1TB model, its thick aluminum all-over wrap firmly encases the silicon and controller nicely while allowing maximum heat dissipation. As expected from a high-performance Gen 4.0 model, the Seagate Firecuda 530 utilizes the exceptional Fison E18 controller, gaming on the PS5 with the Seagate Firecuda 530 is as quick and painless as you would expect, given what's on the silicon here. In my testing, it achieved a read score from Sony's official benchmark tool of 6539MB per second, making it one of the fastest I've ever used. The biggest PS5 games. Horizon, Forbidden West, with its 99.35GB file size, jumped from the internal storage to the NVMe SSD in just 1 minute and 19 seconds, or 79 seconds. Equally impressive is Death Stranding, Director's Cut, 69.35GB, which transferred in only 54 seconds. That's well over 1GB per second being more to copy your entire game library over in just a few minutes. Number 2 The Crucial P5 Plus The P5 Plus is available in 3 capacities, 500GB, 1TB, and 2TB. 
As for sequential read and write speeds, the 1TB and 2TB models of the Crucial P5 Plus are rated for a maximum throughput of 6,600 MB per second read and 5,000 MB per second write. This is very fast, only a handful of drives the durability ratings for the P5 Plus, as measured in terabytes written, TBW, are 300 TBW for the 500 GB version, 600 TBW for the 1 TB model, and 1, 200 TBW for the 2 TB drive. This durability rating is typical of similar drives of these capacities, the drive supports hardware-based AES 256-bit full disk encryption. It also comes with the company storage executive SSD management software suite, which is one of the better tools out there both in the scope of tasks it can run and its overall ease of use. The company also offers a download of Acronis True Image HD software for any disk migration tasks you might need to run. The Crucial P5 Plus's results in PC Mark 10 testing were, in a word, magnificent. Its overall score of 3022 was the best among our comparison group of drives, which included both PCIe 3.0 and 4.0 devices. The P5 Plus also edged those two drives in launching Adobe Photoshop and finished between the Adata and Samsung in loading Adobe Premiere Pro and Windows 10. In-game loading, the P5 Plus took top honors in both Overwatch and Call of Duty Black Ops 4, while turning in a more mortal but still respectable score in Battlefield 5. Number 1 The 1TB WD Black SN850X is a powerful, high-end PCIe 4.0 SSD. Performance is near the top of the heap in almost every category, the Black SN850X works with WD's dashboard management software that the company includes with its SSDs. The SN850's gaming mode worked by disabling lower power states, ensuring the drive would be more responsive. Game mode 2.0 works differently with a three-pronged approach, predictive loading, adaptive thermal management, and overhead balancing. The drive's controller is close to the M.2 interface, a package of DROM, and two packages of flash. The DROM module is labeled D9XPG, a 16 gigabits DDR4 module from Micron with a 16-bit width. This is 2 gigabytes of memory and meets the ideal ratio of DROM to NAND for the 2 terabytes test sample. Overall, the SN850X gives the recently reviewed SK Hynix Platinum P41 a run for its money. The P41 broke benchmark records right and left, but the SN850X tipped past many of those results, winning the 3D Mark gaming test by a wide margin. If data security is paramount for you, you might want to drive with AES 256-bit hardware-based encryption such as the Crucial P5 Plus, the Adata XPG Gamix S70 Blade, or the XPG Atom 50. But none of those editors' choice winners offers a heatsink version or a 4 terabytes capacity. All of the best SSDs for gaming are on our list. Please click the thumbs up icon if you found this video to be helpful. Which SSD for gaming would you choose? Let us know what you think by leaving a remark below. Thank you for your time click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video to be useful in any way so you won't miss any upcoming updates. All of you who viewed before that I hope to see you in the upcoming video.